Building dApps have never been this easy. Hi, my name is Shrav Sneogori, Developer and Guest Manager at Bonds. I'm excited to have you join us in this virtual workshop. We're going to take a dive deep on how Bonds can simplify dApp development and save you development time to launch and deploy smart contracts in five minutes. Bonds is a smart contract ecosystem. A smart contract hub with over 40 modus combinations across different use cases, supporting 100 EVM based chains. So far, we've had 8,000 or 8,500 5, deploy smart contracts. As a developer wanting to build blockchain applications, Bonds ecosystem gives you access to over 100 reviewed contracts. Simplified development via GUI on any EVM based chain. Allows you to manage your DAP and interact with your deploy smart contract easily via our easy to use UI. Bonds supports popular contracts. The Bonds models, smart contract models have been combined for different use cases for NFTs, for DeFi, ERC20 tokens across ICOs, staking, and even DAOs. The Bonds ecosystem supports EVM compatible chains, Ethereum itself, Polygon, Avalanche, and so many more, giving you a wide overview of choice to deploy contracts and DAPs on your preferred blockchain. But we're featured on different media, supporting the partner with communities to support developers to try and let's get started and take a dive deep on different parts on a dashboard to see how bonds can help you as a developer simplify and help you build better dApps. The first, let's look at the Explorer. The Explorer gives us access to a number of available expansive model templates. We can search the templates, we can see the name of the templates, the date it was launched, and overview of the templates and who created them. Let's take a look at the payment splinter. If you click on the payment splinter, it takes you to the, document the documentation page for the payment splinter contracts. Allow you to see how to use it, the model parameters available, the functions, events, and the code. As a change log, it reposition them to see previous changes and edit updates made on the smart contract. How to use gives an overview on how this smart contract can be used. A guide by guide step to have them quickly use a smart contract and interact with it in their preferred web library. The functions gives us the functions available in the smart contracts. Across read and write functions, as we can see, clicking each clean, of the function gives you access to see the name, the type, and description of the function. Code, clicking on code, takes us to overview of the code used in the smart contracts. Now, payment splinter. Clicking on the payment splinter, the solidity of soul gives us access to the code to see the code written that makes up the smart contract. That's the function so I can help you review and check the code. Very soon, we're going to be launching a customized feature to allow you to customize this code your IDE and add other features and increase the capacities as you same fit. You can share the contracts and share on Twitter and of course deploy. Let's take a look at the documentation of bonds. The documentation of bonds gives you a much clearer overview on how this can help you to build your dApps better. This image description of the bonds platform. So what bonds get started? The fundamentals. Smart contract hub, how to interact. Smart contracts deployed on bonds can be interacted using it as a yes. Web3.py, Web3.js, and any other preferred library that you would like to use. 
you can see documentation guide on how to call and interact with the smart contract connect to wallet and sign this. Boilerplates are very crucial to bonds. We want to give developers a head start for them to use bonds to quickly build dApps as the same fit. We're going to be taking a look at how to launch a token, ERC based token with the boilerplate and launch on, e on the BSC EBN and the BSC blockchain rather using bonds. So let's go back to the bonds landing page. You can log in. You can sign up as the same fit. I've already logged in, so I will just log out for if assisted. So yeah. So already I can log in here. Okay. Put the password. So we are logged in to the bonds dashboard. Because I'm not a first time user, there are different dApps already in my, on my dashboard. But if you're a first time user, you're definitely only going to see the create dApp card. So let's create a dApp. Taking on creating a dApp takes you to the setup page. Since we are launching a crypto token, my name is Trust, and so I'd like to launch the Trust token. And I'll simply say Trust token. I already have it there, but let's ignore that suggestion. So trust token. The next is to select the network name. There are different options from mainnet to testnet across different EVM based chain. Well, let's use BSC. Click next. Clicking next, next and we to select the smart contract model you would like to use. The Saints already know we want to use the ERC20 token, smart contracts, we can use this. But before we get that, these are bonds models developed by the bonds team. These are also by the bonds team. Now, all tab shows models smart contracts developed by the bonds team alongside external developers. Of course, contracts have been reviewed by experts, but they're all in the all tab. Before Smart contracts built by the BOSS team can be found on the BOSS models and prepared templates. Let's quickly use the simple token to create a simple ERC20 token as the use case. Was the name a structure token? Was the symbol? I'll call it C. Uh, okay, that's TT case for it, right? Trust token to okay, key for the token there, right? So let's deploy. Deployment is a lot. Allows us to connect our MetaMask. Okay, so I have not logged in, so we'll do that quickly. Connected. So let's deploy. Sorry. Okay, so transaction confirmed. ERC20 token to the BSC test nets. What's the next thing to do? Now we have been provided with the ABI and the contract address. which are very critical to interacting with the smart contract on your front end using any of your preferred library. There is a manage contract button, which gives you additional capacities to work and manage your smart contract. You can see the write and the read function of these smart contracts. And you can play with it, the functions, interact with the smart contract using GUI. Similar to what you have in Remix, but of course has a much broader explanation of each of the functions, descriptions, and you can walk around it and write and read with the GUI provided here already. We have the verification tab, which allows you to copy and use the following information to verify the smart contracts in the block explorer of your choice. And let's interact using the boilerplate provided. As discussed earlier, the boilerplate allows you to give you a quick start to building dApps across different use cases. We have the boilerplates for ERC20 NFTs, 
meeting Scythe and others that were provided accordingly. Let's click on the token ERC20. It takes us to GitHub repo for this. I will have to simply clone this repo to our local directory, either using the git command and link or downloading the zip file on the CP. Let's download the zip file. I'll run the zip. So we have to search open folder and locate the ERC20 meeting by that place. And we open it for that. Let me make this bigger. Close all of this stuff. Fantastic. This is how it is going to be when you clone the ERC so it's a meeting but I've to your own IDE. We just the code and you know preferred ID that you are, that you use. The first thing would be to install the NPM packages. Yeah, I'm installed. Okay, it's already done. But if you it's the first time for you to clone the repo, you have to do that to download all of the necessary packages needed for this. Now, the codes are provided for us. We have to do two things to so test that the boiler fit. And you can now edit and customize as you simply for your own use case. The first would be to take a look at the ebi.json file. Remember that we have been provided with the ebi of the smart contracts. We have to copy the ebi, return back to the VS code, delete the previous one and paste the one just copied because it can is difficult to read so we we'll have to format it yeah much better so it's easier to read so after save it second file we need to take a look at is dot env file so we have to create a dot env file if it is not already done that's dot dot env which is already here and these are the two things you need to impute the react app chain id and the react apps control address so the app is a react when you put on there is a control address and the id and the id chain id remember that we deploy this on the bsc test nets and the bsc test net chain id is 97 hence we have 97 and we have to copy the smart contract address and replace what we already have here and save. Once you've done that, it's now time to run. Of course, you can take a look at the other codes. The file this handles the maintain button, the function involved in that, and the progress message and the success message that pops up. The app the JSON gives us access to the chain ID, the wireless connection functions and the others. So you can take time to go through the code and the dates and input into your own use case to build more user with that. So let's run this and check how this looks like. That will be here on the run starts. Let's take a look. The trip thousand. Fine. So this is how it looks. We have to connect our contract. So we have connected the contract. Brilliant. So we are asked to mint the contract. Now let's confirm. Let's take a look at what we have. Let's copy the contract address and head over to the BSC Blockchain Explorer. Let's take a look at the beer chain okay sorry bsis l has meant to be the test net this is actually the main uh bsc that would be test net yeah that's bs let's impute the condo address we just copied and check it out. 
So balance is zero, or it has been confirmed, created. So the confirm created. And a few events. Okay. Right. So let's head back to Auckland. If we take a look at the contract reaction, which we got from clicking on the manage contract to test if this will work. So let's mean to using the GUI. So I'll type in receiver here. So let me just put in 15. This is 500,000. The tokens receiver. The our smarts. Sorry, our address here. So I'll put it here. And mate. So what to pay gap fees? Yes, so pay that. And it's going on correct mean type. So we click on this bora success. So it's a trust test token. It's TTT. And we have 0 0.05. Okay, let's validate that by clicking here. Pick one address. And it's been to seven minutes ago for TDT, which was the our token that we deployed at is one address. So this is how you can play around this. And you can do the same using the code. Uh, you deploy it from your ID VS your code. I can also do the same using the UI here as well across pausing, contracting, balance of allowance, you can revoke and transfer ownership and post minting impressions as the same fit. So this is you can look at the documentation for more use case that gives you a more clear approach on how you can simplify, how you can do better, how you can interact in different models and of course take a look at uh, the many models available across different use cases. They can launch on the market, market tree. You have the reflection on escrow in case you want to build a freelancing service on the blockchain with escrow payment feature, just like you have on freelancer.com, on Fiverr, on Upwork. And the best one that's contract, NFT meeting, the realities for NFT, safe marketplace, and so on and so forth. So you can take a look and explore and deploy the smart contracts, copy the API and the Contract color address key, um, color address, and put into your front end to interact with it as you're seeing using any of the libraries available. We keep the updating, we are continuously updating the smart contract hub with new smart contracts for more new use cases across different applications to help developers build more dApps as a same fit. Any questions you have, you can drop it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to. Connect, or you can join on Discord and ask a question of the community of developers on Discord as well. They can be happy to help you build and help you answer your questions as you can as well. Thank you very much, and we can't wait to see what you will build using the Plans platform.